Say hi, Ali. Ali, let's say hi. Say hi. Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute, like it's been a while, but um yeah, so I am back and I filmed a video on like a super quick get ready with me type of video. So if you're I know that it's graduation season currently. I graduated three years ago around 15th of October and my sister is graduating and um, so I thought it would be fun to do a super quick get ready with me video show you what you can wear to our graduation I'm actually gonna wear this dress right here so I'll show you how I style this dress if you if you're not sure what to wear or why you should wear what you think you can wear and for me I think like graduation ceremonies are quite formal they're like depends how you view events some people are very chill some people are like they take um take a lot of consideration into the outfit for an event like um so yeah it depends how you view events but for me i think graduation ceremonies are quite formal they're very um respectful and very classy in a way so um in this video i'm going to show you how you can dress up for a graduation ceremony whether it's your sisters mom dad brothers um cousins friends so i hope this video helps and yes hope you enjoy it and welcome back to my channel he's, he's like a little big teddy bear he is so cute his name's oliver i got him for my sister Ooh. okay he's not impressed but yeah so um hope you tune into this video hope you like it and if you do like it give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it share it and if you think this is a bit much for a graduation ceremony let me know what would you what would you change what would you make better or what would you wear to a graduation ceremony and also what type of videos you want to see in the future um i know it's been a while but um i really enjoy filming and i love editing so i thought why not come back why not come back but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on my next one okay so guys i'm gonna start with the little toner just to close up my pores to stop my foundation from sinking 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 into my skin i may or may not mention every single product that i'm going to use but I'll write them down below in the description box. I'm gonna moisturize. I love this moisturizer. I've been using it for years. I let you know what I would do if they discontinue it, so I hope they never do. Oh, it's my eye. Come. What are you doing, Oliver? Right, but this is a matte control blemish. It controls blemish and shine. Daily mattifying moisturizer. Which is this one. I've also been using this one for such a long time. I really like this. I always like to start with my eyebrow. after this i'll probably will do another not probably i will i will do another video of showing how do like another makeup video because i feel like my makeup has changed a lot since the last time i did a video i keep covering up what i'm doing with the mirror because i'm so sorry but um once i'm done you'll see it I feel like for me, brows are the thing that take the longest when doing my makeup. I don't know why they take so long, but I feel like it just take forever. I'm going to use this foundation brush from by the real technique is to really blend the lighter shade. What we're going to do is you can see this line here and here. 
we're gonna get rid of that before i would love having it on your leg i feel, I feel like it made my eyebrows just look very sharp but now we don't like it so we're just going to lightly blend it away i feel like this way just makes the brows look more natural as well i mean they don't look completely natural but just a little bit more natural If you wanted them to look completely like I just wouldn't put anything on them in the first place so I am just going to set my brows just pick up that product and apply it in Okay, with positioning shades, it's really up to you how much you want to apply. There's times where I apply a lot, you know, there's times where I apply, I apply a very small amount. Now, for my crease, this is going to be like a very simple eye look. Like I said, it's for a graduation. So, it's a very formal, like when it comes to graduation, it's a very formal event. And it's not very formal, I mean, it really depends on who you are and how you how serious you take events but um for me it's a quite it's a formal event so you want to keep your makeup very formal and ladylike respectful it's going to be a very simple eye look and for the crease i'm gonna go in with a really dark brown shade using the same brush just gonna almost like poke my eyes in and just apply that shade in uh, I'm almost like drawing my own crease <laughs> but yeah but yeah and um, my little sister's name is Vody so it's V-O-D-Y Vody and she has she is graduating three years after me scratches on my arm you guys it's oliver he's done this to me i mean i think my sister it's her cat by the way it's not my cat um i bought him for her as a graduation present about seven months ago it was an early graduation present in a way he was only eight weeks old you guys he was so small and now he's like seven months and he's so naughty I'm gonna keep my eyes really simple. I'm gonna use the it's a bit dirty the makeup forever eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use these, but the, I'm only gonna literally only using these two colors right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use the darker shade. I'm just going to brush it in my out a corner of my arm very light come on where are ya where are ya here it was right in front of me you guys yes yeah, so i'm gonna go in with the lighter shade this time just going to brush it i don't think i'm just picking this up across my lids okay um let's talk about the weather guys for the past few days since sunday the weather has been so nice you wouldn't even think it's october right hopefully we'll get some more of that oh i'm liking this guys i'm liking this and these are the two foundation that I am currently loving. These two are like my favourite combination ever. And I'm using this e.l.f. foundation brush to blend it in. 
but um I kind of like to spray spray I like to spray my sponge with my setting spray and then I just like to go in with it as well I feel like by doing this it gives my makeup fresher for longer and it really sets my foundation really well Oh, by the way, I use the NYX setting spray. She looks like this. I use the dewy finish one. I like it better than the matte finish. Don't know why. Just like it. Then I blend. Okay, so my sister came into the room. I didn't even bother to close my door. I mean, you found the door closed, fans. Well, you think you would close it back? Okay, so you guys have to make sure you blend as much as you can just to get it right. Go underneath on my cheekbone just to bring color back to the face. That dark shade in. Bye. My brother's just gone. Okay, so I make up this halfway done, almost done. So let's talk about outfits. Um, I think for this one, I'm going to go for a dress, like a black and white dress. With just like a little small bag and some black pointy heels. Also, I feel like applying eyelashes, you can either go the right way or you can go the wrong way. So annoying. And especially out here on your forehead, you really need to bring some light back. Not light, some colour. Some colour. You need colour back. You need to bring some colour back. I am going to contour my cheeks with a powder. I'm just going to contour my nose. I'm gonna dip it into the dark brown shade that I used for my crease. And just go under my eyes. Apply a little bit of that blush in here. When it comes to face powder, I don't like to apply too much because I don't want to look too cakey. I don't like looking cakey. I don't want to look cakey. So I literally just apply a little bit. And where I bake, I never put face powder on. I just put it like on my mouth area and then my cheeks. I just some powder into the tear not too much, just a little bit. Setting my eyebrows with a 
The Brow This Way, yep, Brow This Way by Rimmel London. Oh yeah, this oh, it's almost finished actually. I really should buy a new one. But I just love to cling onto things, guys. Till I get the very best usage out of them. I'm gonna prep my lips for lipstick guys and I'm using this is the best lip primer it was not a lip primer it's a lip balm it's the Dr. Lip original nipple balm for dry skin luscious lips and glossy eyes okay but I use it underneath my all my lipsticks it looks like this it's so good okay and I'm gonna use a nice brown Dark liner. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm going to use three different shades of lipsticks. I'm going to mix and match them. I'm just going to mix them just to achieve this shade that I want. The first shade, obviously, I went in with a lip, with an eye, lip liner. But the first shade I'm going with is the Revlon Mink lipstick. I personally believe that this is the best. Not the best, but that I've tried. The best lipstick, nude lip for dark skin. Gonna go in with that. Uh, the last colour I'm going with is this shade from L'Oreal in 104. It is like a nice pinky super pink shade i'm not going to use too much of it i'm literally just going to go in with it in the center of my lips okay we're all done okay so now i am going to fix my hair get dressed and show you guys today's outfit Um, well show you an outfit that is good enough for a graduation ceremony and i'll be right back this is the finished look i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i hope it's given you some inspiration on what to wear to a graduation ceremony and how to have your makeup so my dress bag and shoes is from zara and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye okay. oh my goodness you guys guess who graduated today who is graduating today Leroy. 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 graduating today finally <laughs>